Hi Capricorn, this is Mary Chi, Yama Chan Sulaka. I'm going to tap into the energies of those of you who are not in communication with your person right now. Alright? Capricorns out there. What is it that you need to hear from me in regards to the situation you are in right now? Capricorns out there. Your first card is the Empress. Alright? Along with the King of Cups. You're very invested into this person, okay? You're emotionally attached to this person. Some of you might uh, be the mother of the children, okay? Yeah. So if you are hoping to be the empress, to be their wife, all right? Capricorns out there. There is this energy about being all over the place as well. Okay, just thinking about this, you you just um, confused about the future. Okay, then we have the emperor. How cool is that? Empress and the emperor came together. Okay, alone with the Ace of Cups. Wonderful. That's, that's, we're doing a no communication reading right now. And then, both of you are into each other. Okay. You have love for the other person. I'm just going to pick the deck here. This one. But right now, not being on the same page, there is this petty uh, fight which is going on. All right. You're into each other. But for some reason, something has come in between the two of you. Okay. There is this um, power play, probably, which is happening right now. This petty fight. Yeah. It's just not worth it, but then you're in the midst of it. Ooh, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, you've got the Ten of Swords, this is how you feel. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. You feel very defeated, okay, from that Five of Swords to the Ten of Swords. It feels petty when it started, but now it's like, um, it's, it's having a toll on your connection. Okay, you don't know how to move past it. Yeah, you're stuck. You want to work on this. Okay, you, you really want to fix the situation, what is going on between the two of you. When we are looking at the Ten of Swords, you, you don't want things to end between the two of you. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or an Aries or a Taurus. What is your next card, Capricorns, out there? Your next card is the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a messenger energy. Okay, all you got to do, uh, and there is potential there. All you got to do is reach out to your person. It's as simple as that. Both of you love each other, okay? There is this ego um, power play which is going on between the two of you. You need to understand what is important, okay? Is it, is it uh, you know, um, maintaining who is above the other person? Or being with each other is that important. So pray, you, you need to set your priorities right. What is important for you? Okay? And take charge of the situation. Okay? Page of Wands is initiating. You don't have to think the other person um, has to initiate. I'm not going to do it. 
the other person will be the same uh, will be thinking the same thing about you you got to initiate i'm not going to do uh, you know i'm not going to reach out yeah you feel uh small in front of the other person after all you are the emperor and the empress at the top of the hierarchy yeah so there is a need for you to take the initiative to bring things back on track because that is your priority to be back together We're looking at the six of cups exactly being back with each other you know having that connection six of cups is um about the connection having having what you had once upon a time that is important so initiate take charge doesn't matter who okay it doesn't really matter some of you might be dealing with a cancerian or a scorpion what is your next card please capricorns out there this one we got the ten of swords again and it fell on the page of wands uh so it seems like uh somebody thinks that they will make me um you know defeated make me feel defeated if i reach out yes with this temperance energy that's the way you're thinking but you need to understand it is important for you to you know resurrect this dead situation if you let it be it is going to be over there will be no way uh you can heal this situation if you let time come in between the two of you okay so it's about time to step up and bring that balance with that temperance energy it's it's very important to fix this like now okay don't wait for the other person all right capricorns what is your next card please what is your next card please this one we got the three of cups in the center of the reading along with the five pentacles so uh there is a need for you to get back together and celebrate each other okay they want me to break the deck here so i'm going to keep it aside and then uh five pentacles speaks about you know you are in the separation you are not together there is a petty fight going on let go of it and get back together celebrate uh this connection with what you have don't let it you know die don't let it die okay because it will pain you for the rest of your lives okay you, you will not be able to get out of it if you don't initiate now if you let it be and the other person also let it be then it's it's just going to be over and you're going to regret it uh in a few years then you cannot fix it okay five years from now you cannot come back to today so it's important for you to reach out to this person and fix it maybe they also want to do the same thing it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you do it or they do it because both of you are are just meant for each other okay all right they made me break the deck so i'm going to look on it okay so there is a need for you to reflect within and ask yourself that and i just explained it the five years from now you're going to regret it same thing okay so go within and ask ask yourself do you want this person in your life the answer will be yes okay y you will be guided okay nothing should stop you from going back to this person this 
this person wants you back and so do you all right moving on some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. capricorns are under what is your next card please this one the world card speaks about second chances transformation renewal you know just do it okay just just uh don't let it be in the ten of swords don't let it die out okay whatever you have just don't uh let it fade away okay all you got to do is initiate because page of wands and the world card initiate send them out a message or reach out to them whatever you do pick up the phone and call them up do whatever bring about that transformation change the situation you you need to uh, transition from this uh, phase in your life right now with this other person you need to three of cups in the central speaks about celebrations okay you are meant to be together so be be together all right four of cups just just get out of the space thinking you know i just you don't like this i get it neither do they so do something okay rather sitting and whining about it i i cannot live with this uh, without this person i need this person all right what do you do the answer is right there all right i'm just going to break the deck we've got the six of wands just you know there is no shame there is no shame here that's what they want to say it is even if you are the one who's initiating you need not be ashamed of taking the first step towards them if you feel like that then there is something wrong with this relationship if you have a problem in communicating with this person how you feel about them then there is a big problem okay if you cannot express how you feel right now with this person you got a problem this this is not meant to work out okay yes the temperance you need to align okay shit happens shit happens but if you cannot apologize then it's 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 like it's just not the person for you or you're not the person for them if you cannot compromise okay all right we've got the temperance energy yes bring that alignment back just don't let it fade away all right we've got the four of cups and just don't sit and cry uh thinking about what you had because you still can have it what is your next card capricorn salter and um, i don't think so we need the next three cards because it's, it's almost the story is right there all you got to do is initiate and that's about it capricorns what is your next card please okay knight of swords fastest moving knight in this deck speaks about communication don't think over this okay just go do it can there be any bl any more blunt about this and this goes for the empress as well as the emperor whoever if you're the male who's listening to me and this is your situation just reach out to this person if you're the female just reach out even if it's a same sex relationship just fucking reach out doesn't matter doesn't matter who who reaches out just do it if you want this person back in your life all right again the same four of cups i i keep uh, uh seeing this energy of sitting yeah doing nothing we are asking you to take action it's about time you take action don't think over this will they reject me 
will they mock me for coming back? Don't think about it. Because they want the same thing. All right? Capricorns out there. You got a cherry dinner. I told you there's nothing else to say in this uh, reading. So they're, they're playing with me right now with this Knight of Swords and the Chariot energy. So it's, it's like uh, Chariot is about taking uh, taking the reins, taking, uh, you know, uh, taking charge of the, of the situation and uh, moving forward, getting back on track. Knight of Swords is again moving forward. You know, don't think about this. It's, it's the same damn energy. Okay, this is for the page of wands, all right? Reaching out to this person, sending out that message, you know? Whatever, you know, pick up the phone, call them up, send out a WhatsApp message or whatever. You know, the tiniest step you can take towards them is more than enough. And then you will be celebrating it together. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. You, you will be able to nurture this relationship. This connection is not over. If you do something about it, it is not over. Because this is your person. Okay? Capricorns out there, what is your next card, please? You got the seven of pentacles. This is what you're doing. You know? Like waiting. But they're asking you, uh, they want me to look at this card, or oh, Ace of Cups, see? And this card, what is it? We got a sun, oh my God. Ooh. All right, all you gotta do is put in the work. Do your bit and see what happens. Your bit is, see, uh, this row, you can see the page of wands, which is the messenger energy, which is a, a card which speaks about initiating. The world card is, you know, uh, making a transformation within this relationship, okay, from what it is right now. Uh, these two cards speaks about initiating, taking charge, taking things forward. Uh, Seven of Pentacles, the, uh, the last card uh, in your spread, uh, they're asking you to put in the work. Seven of Pentacles is not just about waiting, okay, before waiting, you put in the, uh, this is a farmer who is putting the seeds for um, the, and waiting for the harvest. So, before he starts waiting, he's done his bit. He has done his part. So now the ball is in the other person's court. Okay? But rather than sitting and whining, you got to do your bit. And that is initiating to this person, uh, you know, getting in touch with this person. They reply or not, that is up to them. You have to do what you got to do. Magician. Okay? Whatever you got to do, you, you need to do it to manifest what is... What is it that you want? Okay? If you want to manifest your emperor back in your life, do what you got to do. Okay? Then the emperor has to do his part. And he will. Okay? Because Ace of Cups, Sun card, the most positive card in this deck, there will be a new dawn. This is going to be something of the past. Okay? This whole reading just speaks about one thing and that is don't sit and whine. Don't sit and think about who, who first, who first. No. Take the initiative. Reach out to this person and everything is going to be sorted. Temperance energy. Everything is going to um, finally fall into its place. Just a matter of initiating. And that's about it. This is Marishi. You want to chance to look up. And somebody is having trouble uh, speaking the truth. And that shouldn't be the case. Okay. You might be worried. What do I tell them? Because my voice was uh, for a second, the one when, uh, wanted me to speak about it. So it, it's like uh, you don't know what to tell your person. You know, it, it's like Marisha, I know you're telling me to initiate, but where do I start? It will come. Okay, just just start somewhere. Just start with a high, and that's about it. Two letters, high, and see what comes. Yeah. Just just go with the flow, and that's about it. Okay, it's just the nudge you have to give. That's about it. This is Marisha, you want to challenge Luca. Um, I wish you the very best, all right? This is Marisha. Until next time, bye-bye.